this video we're going to take a look at a calc 1 problem here. We're going to be sketching a region that is enclosed by a couple curves and then we're going to find the area. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is probably go ahead and sketch this region. We've got an upright parabola right here. We have an upside down parabola right there. Okay, now um, actually before I go to sketch it, I think I am going to go ahead and find my points of intersection. That may make the sketch go just a little bit easier here. So let's find points of intersection of the two curves which basically just means I'm going to take the two curves and set them equal to each other so I'm going to have an x squared minus x set that equal to a 3x minus an x squared I'm going to go ahead and move everything over to the left so I'm going to add x squared to both sides that'll give me a 2x squared and then I'm going to go ahead and subtract 3x from both sides. That'll give me a minus 4x is equal to 0. I'm going to factor out a 2x. That'll give me an x minus a 2 is equal to 0. I can use the zero product principle then and set each one of these equal to 0. 2x equals 0 means x equals 0. And setting this equal to 0, x minus 2 is equal to 0, so x equals 2. So my two intersection points are going to be at 0 and 2. That's going to help then when we do our sketch. So let's put the sketch right in here. So we've hopefully got enough room over here to do our integration and find that area. All right, so my upright parabola, we're going to have to go through 0, 0 here. So we'll do that as our upright. This is going to be an intersection point. All right, if we say that, mm, let's say 2 is right about here. Okay, then that means my upside down parabola basically is going to look something like that. All right, I've got one right side up and I've got one upside down. Intersection points here are at 0 and x equals 2. The region then I'm trying to calculate the area of is this region in between the two curves. Now, if we go ahead and label these, this is the upside down parabola. So this one's going to be the y equals 3x minus x squared. This one up here is going to be the y equals x squared minus x. Sometimes it is going to be helpful to go ahead and label those curves because when we calculate that area, we're going to need to do top curve minus bottom curve. Okay, so I will be integrating from 0 to 2. So we'll go ahead and set up the integral from 0 to 2. And like I said, we're going to want top curve minus bottom curve. Well, my top curve is the 3x minus x squared. So we'll have a 3x minus an x squared minus the bottom curve. The bottom curve right in here is the x squared minus x. All right, so setup there is very important on the integral. You got to be able to set up the integral in order to be able to work this out. So top curve minus bottom curve. Let's actually make that note. This is top curve minus bottom curve. All right, and now from here, the rest of the way down, it is a straight integration problem. So let's go through and <clears throat> simplify this, do some algebra in here. We'll have an integral from 0 to 2. And all right, if I put my, let's put these two together first here, 3x minus a negative x is going to give me a 4x. All right, putting the x squared terms together, I'll get a minus 2x squared. Now we're down to just a nice little polynomial curve there. We can integrate. Integrating here, I'm going to have an x squared. Pull that 2 down in front, 4 divided by 2 gives me a 2. And then integrating here, I'll have an x to the third. Pulling that third down in front, I'll have the 2 thirds. So straightforward integration right there. We're going to still run from 0 to 2. Now to do the evaluating part, we'll plug 2 in and subtract, plug in 0. Plugging in the 2, we'll have 2 times 2 to the second, minus the 2 thirds times 2 to the third minus, we plug in 0, we're going to have 0, plug in 0 again, minus 0, so basically all of that just falls out. All right, so this is going to be 4 times 2 there is going to give me an 8 right here. This will be 8 times 2 on top is going to be a 16 thirds. All right, getting common denominators there and subtracting, we're going to end up with an 8 thirds for an overall area. So pretty much a straightforward Calc 1 uh, question, all right? They want you to be able to sketch a region. Sometimes it's very helpful to find those points of intersection first to be able to do a rough sketch. 
figure out what area is in there, figure out which curve is on top, which curve is on the bottom, and then do a straight integration there. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.